टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कंट्रोल ऑफ कॉरोनरी ब्लड फ्लो एंड देयर आर टू मेन मेकेनिज्म विच बेसिकली कंट्रोल द करोनरी ब्लड फ्लो बेसिकली दीज फैक्टर्स कैन आइदर इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द करोनरी ब्लड फ्लो वी हैव बेसिकली रीच द करोनरी सर्कुलेशन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट द नॉर्मल करोनरी ब्लड फ्लो the normal coronary blood flow or the blood that is being supplied to the heart every minute is around 225 ml per minute the normal blood flow to the heart or the coronary circulation or the coronary blood flow that is being supplied to the heart the blood that is coming to the muscles of the heart is around 225 ml per minute and this blood is being supplied by two main arteries which we discussed is the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery which are RCA and LCA now that is something which we discussed we also discussed that there are some changes that occur in the amount of blood flow that uh, uh, that the amount of blood flow to the heart uh, during exercise or some other conditions similarly we discussed that the amount of blood that is coming to the muscles decreases in the systole and then increasing increase in diastole then decrease in systole and increase in diastole because when the muscles of the heart contract the the blood vessels in the heart gets compressed and so the blood flow decreases and then increases now when a person starts exercise or when the sympathetic systems get activated or any other factors come into play which increase or decrease which increase or decrease the metabolic activity of the heart muscles when the needs of the body increase or the needs of the body uh, the body and the muscles of the heart decrease then how what are the factors then how the blood flow or the coronary blood flow is controlled so the two main factors are the local factors and the nervous control now the nerve the local factors the local factors basically they are uh, the local factors because they act locally they act locally they act at the level of the heart now the most important factor in the local factors that play an important role in increasing the coronary blood flow is the decrease in oxygen the decrease in oxygen whenever the needs of uh, the body increase for whenever the the need for blood or the need for nutrients in the body increase for example in exercise or due to any other factor the metabolism has increased then the heart the the heart has to pump more more blood so that it can uh, fulfill the needs of the body if the heart has to pump more then the heart should also be given more blood or more blood should come to the heart because the the heart muscles also need more energy for more contraction and more rate so whenever the needs uh, the heart start pumping more blood or it starts contracting uh, contracting at a higher rate the oxygen that is present in or the oxygen that is being supplied in the normal blood to the heart it decreases the oxygen decreases now due to the decrease in oxygen there are some certain vasodilator factors formed vaso vasodilator factors or vasodilation factors a lot of vasodilators uh, are formed locally inside the heart muscles and those vasodilators they basically increase the caliber they increase or they dilate the blood vessels for example this is a blood vessel they the vasodilators they will act on the blood vessel and the caliber of the blood vessel will increase or the size or the size of the the size of the blood vessel will increase when the caliber of this blood vessel has increased now more blood will be able to flow through this 
dilated blood vessel instead of the small vessel now what are the main vasodilator factors that are being formed now the main uh, the main mechanism is the oxygen the demand basically the decrease in oxygen the decrease in oxygen at the level of the heart muscles uh, increases the demand for oxygen so the decrease in oxygen leads to the formation of vasodilators and the most important vasodilator are adenosine adenosine is one vasodilator which basically helps in dilating the blood vessels so when the vessels are dilated the amount of blood that is flowing in the dilated vessels increase so the blood flow to the heart increases so adenosine formed due to the decrease in oxygen is the most important local factor or a factor which is acting locally at the level of the heart not coming from outside the heart or not coming from the body or the brain that that helps in control of the coronary blood flow now other important factors now adenosine adenosine may not be the only factor other factors which helps to that helps in increasing the blood flow which helps in the uh, vasodilation they are potassium ions carbon dioxide and hydrogen peroxide hydrogen per oxide there may be other factors as well but the important factors are decrease in oxygen which leads to the formation of adenosine potassium ions carbon dioxide and hydrogen peroxide so um, the hydrogen peroxide sorry it's not the hydrogen peroxide rather it's the hydrogen ions it's the hydrogen ions so hydrogen ions potassium ions carbon dioxide adenosine and decrease in oxygen these factors basically these are some of the factors which control the coronary blood flow and they control the blood flow uh, locally or they are the local factors because they are formed locally inside the heart muscles now apart from the local factors there are uh, nervous factors which increase or decrease the uh, the coronary blood flow now the most important uh, uh, nervous factors are the innervation the innervation of the heart muscles and the coronary blood vessels we know that from the brain this is for example this is the brain and from the brain some nerves are coming some nerves are coming especially sympathetic nerves and parasympathetic nerves they basically innervate the blood vessels directly and they may they may activate the heart muscles or increase the metabolism of the heart and they may increase the blood flow in the heart indirectly now when ever a person starts exercising or the demand for the nutrients in the body increase and the demand for the blood or uh, in the heart or the demand for oxygen in the heart muscles increase now apart from the local factors apart from the decrease the well adenosine potassium hydrogen carbon dioxide there is activation of the sympathetic system we have discussed again and again and again that the sympathetic system is a fight flight or fright response which gets activated in all those uh, uh, scenarios where there is more demand for the uh, cardiac uh, blood flow in the uh, muscles or the the metabolism of the body increase so in exercise in exercise the nervous system gets activated the sympathetic nervous system gets activated and it sends signals either directly to the blood vessels directly to the blood vessels or it sends signals to the heart muscles so directly it may vasodilate it may dilate directly the blood vessels so when the blood vessels get dilated the blood flow the blood flow to the heart muscles increases the blood flow increases similarly if the parasympathetic nerves get activated the blood flow to the heart muscles may decrease in some scenarios as well so activation of the sympathetic system directly activating the ves uh, the vessels will increase the blood flow and if 
the sympathetic uh, nerves they activate the muscles the heart muscles if they get activated then it will lead to increase in the heart rate it will lead to increase in the heart rate and increase force of contraction of the heart and increase metabolism now when indirectly the muscles of the heart are activated with sympathetic nerves which is basically a form of nervous control for coronary blood flow it leads to the increase in heart rate the heart the, the rate with which heart is pumping increases and the force with which heart is pumping also increases and metabolism of the muscles in of the heart also increases all these factors then again lead to all these factors once again they lead to a decrease in the oxygen and then it lead to the formation of vasodilator substances like adenosine potassium ion carbon dioxide hydrogen etc and then again they they cause vasodilation and then again they increase the blood flow so the main factors which control the blood flow in the heart or the the control the coronary blood flow are the local factors that act at the level of the heart or the nervous uh, control which is basically signals coming from outside the heart or which are signals coming from the brain with the help of some nerves so the local factors basically are the decrease in oxygen which leads to formation of some vasodilator substances like adenosine potassium carbon dioxide and hydrogen all these factors basically lead to dilation of the small blood vessels and due to dilation the amount of blood that is coming to the heart muscles increases when the when the demand for the um oxygen or other nutrients has increased due to any activity either exercise or some pathology or increase in metabolism now the normal blood flow which is around 225 ml it may increase up to 1 liter per minute in the heart so it is an important fa factor for the control of coronary blood flow another important factor another important factor for the control of blood flow is nervous control and in which the signals are coming from outside the heart so they are not local factor they are nervous factor or the nervous control because signals are coming from the brain with the help of sympathetic nerves the, these nerves these sympathetic nerves may activate the blood vessels directly and dilate them they may direct directly dilate the blood vessels and the blood flow may increase or sometimes it may decrease as well because the parasympathetic nerves they may decrease the caliber of the blood vessels and the blood flow may decrease as well in some cert certain sub circumstances now indirectly the the sympathetic nerves activate the heart the heart rate increases the force of contraction of the heart increases and the metabolism the burning capacity of the heart muscles increases all these factors again lead to increased consumption of oxygen and there is a decrease in oxygen which leads to which again leads to formation of vasodilator factors and the vasodilator factors like adenosine potassium carbon dioxide hydrogen then again leads to vasodilation and then vasodilation leads to increase in the blood flow so that's all about the coronary blood flow which is basically a local factor uh, which are basically local factors and nervous control thanks a lot for watching the video